Hey, 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 guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to the wheat field. Make sure we got this here mic on. Oh, yeah, we got the green light. We got the green light, y'all. How y'all doing? I hope y'all had a beautiful day. Yes, I do, y'all. I hope y'all had a beautiful day. You know, we just been hanging out. We did some work around the house, redecorated the front porch, put our fall stuff out, We're changing seasons, y'all. We ain't going to be stuck in that past season. We went on out there and refreshed, you know, fresh the house and, uh, yeah. Just welcoming in that fall time. It's almost harvest, y'all. Who got a harvest out there that they waiting on? I don't know about y'all, but I know I'm ready to harvest some seeds. I have been working. We've been sowing. You know, we laying groundwork for a whole nother plot here, y'all. And we getting ready to put it in. Like, so we clearing the groundwork. We doing some groundwork right now. Yes. So thank you to all of my ground people, my day ones right here at the start of this here thing. We about a what? five, six weeks into here. Yeah, we growing. It's okay. We just going to keep doing the work that the, you know, we've been called to do and give up these messages. We got some angel messages going on. We're going to sit here on the porch and do a nighttime porch session. Yeah, I was feeling that. I wasn't ready to go in. You know, I just wasn't. We just going to sit on the porch. We on the porch. We done came on the porch. You know, we, we at home, you know, but you know. Mm-hmm. So if you need you a little beer, your little glass of wine or whatever you do to uh, chill out in the evening, go ahead on and get that. I'll wait for you. We'll be right here welcoming welcoming everybody on into the space. Yes. Keep yourself balanced out with that thing. Never we'll go ahead on and get what it is that you need that you would like to uh, have with you as we go through this here session. Yes. We just going to be sitting here. Let's make sure we got all this here straightened out because I'm feeling like some stuff is kind of mixed up, y'all. Folks got some stuff feeling a little mixed up. I don't know. Let's see. Mixed up, turned around, upside down. What's happening? What's going on, Spirit? What is the energy? I hope y'all had a beautiful day. Like, seriously, for real. So, Spirit is definitely pulling me to the bottom of this here deck. And it says this right here. Y'all, can you see that? Balance. That's beautiful. Balance is 14. There's one in four is a five. That can be, you know, a little bit conflicting, right? You can have a little bit of conflict, self resistance within self to get to a balanced compromise, self control and moderation. We was just talking about that. Like, honestly, I'm having myself a beer. You know, I have me a beer in the evening time, you know, but we got to balance that thing out there. We got to make sure we're drinking some water and we eating well. I did not do a great job at eating well today. I will tell you that. I just had a cheese steak. Oh, yes. It was delicious. Spirit said, cheese steak sound real good. I said, I think you're right. So <laughs> we got cheese steak. Yeah, it, was, it was awesome. Spirit said, Three of water. Yes. Community, celebration, friendships. Yes. Are you communing with you in the spirit? I hope so. Are you, you know, just giving the spirit the opportunity to express itself through you? Again, give you some dinner uh, ideas. You'd be celebrating how well that, I mean, because I was, my it was, that was good. I'm telling you. I ain't never had one over here in this here state. We close, you know, like the original type of stuff. Yeah. We over here next to Philly. And got a for real cheese steak. Oh, baby. Let me tell you, if you ain't from Philly and you ain't around Philly, you ain't never had a cheese steak ever. I'm going to just say that like that. You, mm -mm. Yeah, it was definitely something. So maybe if somebody is thinking about balancing out some relationships or you have a relationship that is in balance, and that would be beautiful because you definitely want to have a balanced relationship. Spirit said, yeah, maybe it's new. Or something, you're going to learn something new about it. Yes, we got truthfulness, analytical, outspoken. Spirit said that whatever this new relationship is, friendship, not only is it going to be balanced, but it's also going to be truthful and loyal. Look at that. Yes, analytical, outspoken. Maybe you're a person that's very analytical and outspoken. You know, maybe, or maybe that's something that you need to balance out. Like maybe you're overly analytical. You know, I don't know. Let's think about it. It didn't come up in the reverse. It don't feel like it's a bad thing to me. Spirit says, oh, ego, illusion, dependency, materialism, right? Maybe uh, you need to balance out the ego. You know, maybe you need to analyze, you know, 
your ego maybe is driving some outspokenness or maybe when you speak, you're speaking from a place of ego, right? Do you have any illusions or dependencies? You, maybe the dependency is materialism. You know, it could be vanity. We don't know. A one in five is six is definitely calling to balance out those illusions. Yeah. Getting to balance in that space. Is it causing you any worry? Any anxiety? Yeah. Negativity, sleeplessness. I'm feeling definitely. Yeah. So something that is uh, you're overanalyzing, something that you know is an illusion. You're, and, and I feel illusion off of this ego card. I feel analytical about relationships, right? Um, yeah, and it's causing you some worry. And the and the principal thing spirit is saying is getting some balance. Yes, that's what I feel spirit is saying. Okay, spirit, is there anything else from these angel messages? Make sure my cards are all separated. Put that right. Yeah, is there anything else, spirit? Yeah, somebody needs to be balanced to a situation. There's a relationship that's bringing some worry, some dependencies, like overanalyzing, illusions, materialism. Yes, we got four of earth, and it's in a reverse. Oh, well, my deck is upside down. We need to fix that. So Spirit definitely pulled it back to the upright. Frugalness, extravagance, control. So are you having, do you have a materialism dependency or something about overanalyzing your finances or something like that? You know, maybe, yeah, we're going to think about that and ponder while we just kind of make sure all these cards in here are straightened out right so a dependency which feels like with this for earth maybe there's a concern over money spirit yes concern over money and you're analyzing it right being analytical or over logical or, or that frugalness like really keen and in on uh dialing in tuning in on how you're spending your money, maybe. Yeah, really analyzing what it is that you're investing in. Okay, spirit, thank you. Really analyzing what you're investing in and you're worried over your next investments. Like if, or if you give in, invest in this new venture, this new uh, relationship or something that you've come into, uh, is it going to be good? So you're exercising that analytical mindset and uh, having some control, some frugal, like you're holding back. Yeah. And spirit says balance and compromise, self-control, moderation is in order, but be mindful of being overly analytical, right? Analyze, but don't be overly analytical. Yeah, definitely about opportunity this queen of earth just popped out you guys so graciousness practical capable right you definitely are taking a practical mindset practical standpoint spirit makes sense practical stands right over what you're going to be investing because that queen of earth queen of pentacles yeah she 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 knows where she wants to put her money she takes her time she's logical she's uh yeah she the star Spirit is going to guide you in this investment. You know, you have divine guidance in this, right? Inspiration, fulfillment, faith. Yes, have faith in what this opportunity is. Again, calling to balance and to compromise, right? Going to self and really seek guidance from the most high, from spirit, and so that they can give you a... Uh, yeah, uh, validation or affirmation of what it is that you're speaking to guide you in the right path that you should take right to give you that uh that feeling of resolution assuredness self-assuredness on the path that you're taking because you're over analyzing and being so analytical about it that you could talk yourself in and out in and out i feel that energy so again the star listen to spirit have faith in this have faith and have faith and know that you could whatever decision i think you make 
will be a good decision. You seem to be a very practical person, very logical, maybe to the point of over overly analytical, right? So just be sure that you balance that out because being overly analytical can create illusions that really aren't fair. Yeah, I told you guys this is over a business or something that you're investing in. Yeah. You see that the seven of pentacles is here. It's over your investment. Whatever it is that you're going to pour your money into or your time into, the spirit says money. Yeah, you're investing. You're sowing your seeds somewhere. You want to be logical and make sure that you're scouting out a good plot, being a good steward, right? Being very mindful. But don't be so overly analytical that you talk yourself in and out of a blessing, right? Go into spirit, sit there and get answers and see what source tells you, right? What is what is that inspiration that source is giving you? Yeah. This is what source is giving you. Ace of Earth. Abundance, opportunity, and resources. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful nighttime energy. Love it, y'all. Love it. You see that? Yes. Come on, Spirit. Anything else from this deck? No, Spirit said, call it done. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let's activate, people. We're going to get some gateway activation, some light activation. Give that a good shuffle. Yes. Thank you, Spirit. So we have somebody that's overanalyzing Spirit. You know the story. You're giving us a message. So what shall this person do to activate? We need to be active, activate. So we're going to activate on the faith, right? That we can achieve uh, and, and what is in us is more than enough to allow this thing to be. So what is that, guys? What do we have here? Okay, you guys read that. It's Shambhala initiations, retreating to recharge, trusting in the process, Dharma. So we know that Dharma speaks to purpose, right? Coming into that good energy, into your purpose, right? So trusting in the process. Of course, everything happens for us to push us and move us into purpose from pain to purpose. These tears help teach us and reflect to us what we need to know in order to move into purpose. So if your conflict in this scenario is over analyzing, Maybe you are analyzing in your mind and need to retreat and go into spirit. Retreating get into spirit does allow you to recharge and rest your mind all while you're getting the divine guidance you need to make the good choice for self, right? To reach your highest self. So relax a bit. Go into spirit. Spirit knows. Convene in the spirit and let, you know. The answers come to you naturally. Just let it unfold. Thank you, Spirit. Is there anything else that you would like to say from this deck? One card, one hit a quitter. All right, then. Energy on the bottom, important information. Wounds are being healed, recharging. Recharging is sticking out to me again to retreat and recharge. Go into spirit, go into self. You know, convene in the spirit and see what it is that you... Um, uh, have the answers revealed unto you so you can stop over analyzing and you can get, you know, some assuredness of the path that you should be taking. What is going to lead you towards your highest self, the greatest good, right? What is your, your, the good of that heart's desire, right? Your heart's desire. What is that? You know, so this right here is our ability to work our light. Yes, spirit. We know that going and tapping into the light that's within us, you know, that light that you placed on the inside that call that you call to be our essence. How do we tap into our essence, that light spirit in order to uh, go into self, recharge, gain more faith and trust in the process that this weed is going through? Um, as they're being led, led um, on the path to their purpose, onto Dharma. Yes, Spirit. Is there anything that you would give us from this? Ooh, a whole lot. Yes, I reckon. Goodness. Okay, y'all. We know we're going we gonna to do it at least one time. Or we... It happens. Spirit said a whole lot. I mean, we could just run through them. Uh, 
goodness, call back your power. You're on a double mission. Maybe you put expanding your power in a double, uh, 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 in a way that's uh, draining you and you're not being able to uh, focus that energy and power where it should be, you know, so that you can push into this thing and really get to the bottom of whatever the conflict is while you are overanalyzing, while you haven't been able to decide. Whatever this is that you're looking to do, you probably do it, you know, like it's a part of uh, your calling or um, I feel just digging into a skill or something that you do naturally, like maybe, you know, uh, because fear says you've been doing it for a lifetime, right? That's one of the cards and that really stuck out, um, to me. So I'm not for sure what investment or opportunity you may have presented to you that you're kind of ruminating over. I'm feeling that round and round kind of, uh, energy, uh, with the overanalyzing and, uh, it causing you to worry and have sleeplessness. So you definitely are ruminating, right? So in this, Again, those illusions, right? We tend to create problems when the the problems have not manifested, right? And then we move in a way that's protecting ourselves from something that has not even occurred, presented itself, may never even occur. Like we create these thoughts in our head. Spirit, is there anything that we can do to work our light for this energy, for this week, this specific lot this specific lot what is it that they can do call into remembrance right now for this energy what are you clinging on to spirit says you're holding on to something that is preventing you from moving forward from making a choice is it um a past experience that has, uh, yeah, these two, a past experience that kind of left a bad taste in your mouth. Maybe you worked with somebody in the past and it just didn't work out. Um, maybe you tried this very thing before and it wasn't successful. Um, maybe, uh, you know, just the, the insecurity of whether or not what you have to offer is good enough, whether it's polished enough or whether you know enough, whatever the case may be. Um, seeding the light here is again, again, you know, this is foundational. This is selecting the plot. This is the grandmother to the to Anna, the grandmother of Jesus, right? This card is about um, laying the foundations. So you're laying the foundations now. Again, like we talked about harvest season at the beginning of this coming in and, you know, starting over, you're going to reap the harvest that you worked for and sowed in these past seasons. But then it's also going to be a time for you to start preparing the ground, you know, laying the groundwork for the new season because we have to, you know, lay seeds and that you're going to nurture and grow up and all this stuff to, for the second harvest, your next harvest. Yeah. So we also have have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. We also, you know, on that uh, three of water, celebration, friends, community. So there's something in that that's saying, again, another way, two ways to lighten up, right? So play, don't be so serious, celebration, community, friendship, right? That is synchronicity. It's saying to lighten up, like to bring some light into it. Like, yeah, lighten up, spirit is saying, don't be so serious. You're laying the foundation and the groundwork, and you're going to get divine guidance along the way. Is there anything else from this deck, Spirit? No. Okay, we're done with that. We're going to pull the small one, light deck, light worker, just for clarifying. I like to dig deep, guys. We do a couple layers just to really see what's underneath there, right? So Sphere says, don't be so serious. You're laying the groundwork for something new. It feels like it's going to be abundant with that ace of earth. That opportunity is there. But you should balance out what you're worrying about, right? We got one that flipped over there. We'll go get it in a second. But, uh, yeah, calling in uh, 
those issues. Like we have a tendency to create the problems based on what we see is the journey, right? Oh, I have to get this and I have to do that. And I got to set up this and we have to do that. Like all of the pieces that you start thinking about and quantifying and you kind of push away the blessing and put yourself in a state of mental worry and conflict rather than seeing, okay, this is an opportunity for the most high source to show up and show out. You know, like everything that I see before me that looks like it could be a giant, like that Goliath that I know that, you know, that David energy that the source has in me is going to show up and show out that I could slay all giants with the source, right? That he will, source will give me the material. And just like in the story of David and Goliath, when David was faced with that mountain that he, you know, that giant, right? It, it was a rock that, that, you know, that he threw that was able to not, you know, the rock that, that, that knocked it down, but he, you know, he slayed Goliath with his own sword. So it was a tool in what he thought was a problem that helped him overcome the challenge at the end of the day. That's a word. You know, you can stand on the foundation. The rock will take you there. It will get you to that point. And oftentimes the solution is already in the problem. Your problem is carrying the solution. Your problem is carrying that which is going to resolve it. You just have to stay focused and hold on to the rock. You yield that. You wield that. Let me get this card, y'all. So we have one come out. This is the one that was on the ground. It flew out. So what is she? What is that? What is that? Let's see if we can get that in focus and bring it in. Share your voice. Yes. Come out of the cave. Persecution expression. So maybe you need to express it, talk about it, whatever it is that you have a concern about in this um, venture, this opportunity, maybe communication is the key to the resolution. You know, sometimes just speaking it out and talking it out with the person or the people that you're going to engage with, you know, it, it will help to resolve it. Because again, we, we, we start thinking about things that really, you know, are, are fear based and it comes out of fear. And instead of, you know, that faith place, right? You know, it's coming from a fear place. We have sisterhood of the rose, beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. Yeah, maybe you're somebody that's supposed to just help in a different, I'm not for sure what it is, but sisterhood of the rose um, is, is, is uh, about, again, that community, like, uh, coming together with people in a like-minded situation to do a work or whether that service is to other cells or on, you know, that's what I feel like it's a service onto other cells in some kind of way. And um, yeah, it feels like devotion in a different type of way. Like you're going to, it almost like a change in direction, I feel, but I'm not really for sure. No, is it? Oh, it's a truth that they haven't really, been walking in yeah uh yeah i'm starting to feel jonah yeah like you 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 know that you're supposed to be doing this thing and you're feeling like you're denying it like over analyzing it you know thinking about other parts or aspects of it and have it really come into a uh, wholeness and conciliation like reconciled it within self within spirit what spirit is telling you what you know in your mind self-identification as well as outside um expectations and forcings coming back at you i feel like you're kind of wrestling with all of these aspects and attributes all at the same time spirit is saying yeah the initiation rite of passage crossing the threshold when you get to this point we if you are a person that is going through an awakening and feeling like you know, you're being called to speak out, called to move into a different space, do something a little bit different. You know, you, I don't know if you guys can see the actual imagery of the card, but uh, the message is what's most important. So we're just going to try to focus and get that in there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So crossing the threshold. And we saw with balance right here, this one in four. This one in four to get to balance is a five. Anytime you're crossing a threshold or changing into a new space, into the unknown, it's going to feel, uh, you're going to feel that conflict. You're going to feel like you need to reconcile with self in order to get back to balance, right? You're going to have have that uh, this and this at to and fro, like a 
push and pull kind of energy, wrestling with self re to reconcile what's being spoken to you in the spirit, what you know about self what and what has been indoctrinated and what you have been conformed to. All of those things, again, word is mine. All of them coming into alignment and in alignment with the source and what's being told to you, what you've been divinely guided to do definitely can cause conflict because that conformity is a huge thing. I mean, especially when we talk about a conformity over a lifetime, right? That is from birth. We are talking about breaking generational curses here in, in all kinds of ways. And now that, you know, that's, that's something to, to, you don't take lightly. Thank you, spirit. You know, I, I understand how you can be conflicted in that, in that area, you know, but go into source, go into self, seek, you know, be diligent, you know, see what the source has to say about what you're being guided and then trust the source more than you trust, you know, your fears, you know, dig into your faith more than you dig into the fear. Like don't, don't lean into the fear, lean into your faith. Holy Spirit, that animates and connects all of us, everyone in your we feel. Please bring out a message of protection from Archangel Michael so that we can be protected, so we know that we are safe, we are on the right path. Or if we are not on the right path, please just give us your guidance. All of you, Father, all of you and none of me. All of you and none of me. Thank you so much, Father. Give us a message for this particular lot, this specific lot. You know your light called by name, Yes, yes, you do. So please look at this particular light and give them a message that you would have for me to give. Innocence. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others. Help me embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. Yes, peacefulness. And it's peacefulness like babies. When they fall asleep and they just look so serene without another care in the world, I pray that you have that type of rest. I can feel the anxiety and the worry, someone not being able to sleep at night, trying to make a decision, not really for sure what they're supposed to do. Um, go into spirit, get some rest, rest in the spirit. Know that the source is with you and to give you, again, that place to go in to retreat and recharge. We saw that earlier, to retreat and recharge. And in that space, you are able to hear your divine guidance. And that will help you make the decision to choose that which is reflective of your highest self and your highest good. And you can then be so full in that service that yourself, that you will spill that over onto other selves. But it starts from a place of peace. So to give you some peace and some rest so you could think, you know, you can you can hear, not just think, but hear, you know, because again, overanalyzing and overanalyzing. So excuse me for saying that because spirit is saying that, you know, we probably doing too much thinking. We need to slow this hit thing down, relieve, re relax, retreat, go inside. You know, is that all that you need to say, spirit, out of this? Because I don't know. Is there anything else? Oh. Spirit says make a commitment. Yeah. And a favorable outcome is here. So make a commitment. Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit myself, my light, and my divine purpose. Com allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. Beautiful. Favorable outcome. Thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. Isn't that a beautiful way to close this out? We were saying here with that, uh, I have to pull the card out, y'all, so I don't just be talking. Where are you? Right here, 
the star card. Inspirational, fulfillment, faith. Our, our angel message said to have faith, right? Helping you to have faith and having faith in an innocent way, like that innocence. Like, you know, again, getting back to that, that childhood spirit, right? Being able to uh, have faith in such a way that you know that it's not going to, uh, you know, hey, I have faith. I know it. I just know, right? You know, you can't tell babies that, you know, once they believe that Santa Claus, you can't tell a baby that it ain't no Santa Claus. They will come against everything because they believe. And to come against, you know, your belief for self, like you have to tr go in and hear what spirit is saying to you. Where is spirit leading you in terms of this new adventure? Abundance is on the table, is there. But if you don't believe that it's possible, you'll either ruminate, overanalyze, and make the wrong decisions and moves because you're fearful. Or you will make the choice to pursue and go on leaning into faith. But then if you don't stay there and hold that space and really dig into it, the thoughts of what could go wrong can come against you. Have you act in a way to make things go wrong and it end up being a self-fulfilling prophecy? Go into spirit and sit and really, really get some discernment, you know, and once you get that discernment, be firm in your commitment, right? And don't speak against self. Don't speak against the opportunity. Just lean into it and allow yourself to get what you need from it. Source says that abundance is here in this situation, but you don't want to, you know, overanalyze it and mess it up. Sounds like this is something that's laying the groundwork and seed work for something that could be prosperous through generations. That's the way I read that Anakar is laying the, uh, the groundwork for something that wasn't fulfilled in full potentiality and manifestation for at least two other generations. So it will require groundwork for you to do and like really uh, maybe even look at a way for successor successorship and how do you keep it going, right? So that what you are building will be, again, in that kind of generational uh, generational wealth type of thing because that's what I feel that this is saying. So I pray, you know, that, hey, this resonates for someone. You know, if it resonates, take it. If it doesn't resonate, you can leave it. Feel free. This is an open, free space for you. Again, we acknowledge all the many ways that the, the most high manifests itself so because we know that tears come in many forms right so let's recognize all the tears in our life so that we can see how they're projecting back to us so that we can make the adjustments we need right because we the we are called for good bread until the next time y'all i love you i love y'all i love y'all so much i love y'all just like i love me and I love me because I love the most high. Until the next thing, next time, next thing. <laughs> Until the next time. Mwah. Ashe.